if you want to create an event and you send out the event to someone's specific email address, doesn't matter what the email address is, and they respond to the email ad they respond to the the event through their email, but they do not have a Google account set up or a G plus account or anything associated with Google, will they be able to connect onto the event? The short answer is no. And the solution behind it is you need to set up a Google account. So this is just a really short video that just takes you through the process of setting up a Google account from the time you get the invitation in your inbox. So we'll march through that whole process. So I've already set up an event and the email has been sent in. And as you can see, here's the, uh, the invitation. We'll take a look at the invitation and uh, you need to respond to it, either yes, maybe, or no. And let's say we are going, so I'm going to say yes, I am going. So what we'll try and do is um, load the entire Google interface, the event interface, tells you about the, the lesson and it wants you to start keying in information. So you enter your name. Let's uh, pick a name called um, Okay. We save that and we confirm that we are going. Yes, we are going. So as you can see, it's entered into the uh, attendee list that George Jackman is going to the actual event. So Google should at this point in time um, email something back to the original email address which we'll go to and take a look. Yes it did. It said you replied to that. You take a look at it. And now you can go to the actual Hangout. So you go to view the event And what you're going to get is that same screen that you were on before. This time it's going to want you to join Google Plus or sign in. And if you say, well, I'm even going to skip that. So ideally, you just want to join Google Plus. If not, you can go to the actual Hangout and you have to click on that live link to attend the actual event. You click on the link. It tries to load the event but recognize that you are not uh, signed in uh, to Google and it wants you to sign in or alternatively create an account. And that's what you're going to do at this point. You will create an account. Key in the information. Create an email address. Someone else has that, so we'll use 763 at the end. Create a password. And this is the exact same process you'll be going through. Key in your birth date. It does want a birth date. I'll just key in a fictitious one at this point. It does want a gender, I believe. You can skip the telephone number, skip the email address, and key in the capture code. and um, agree to the actual policies, Terms of Service and Privacy policy, and click on Next Step. And it wants you to verify your account. 
Okay, so I have the verification code right now, and I, th I believe it depends on the email systems that you request the, that the invite gets sent to. So if it's um, one of these third-party accounts, you may go through some verification process. Otherwise, it may send uh, an email back to your account for you to verify. So the verification process is slightly different for uh, different accounts, but the process is still the same. You need to go through a verification um, situation. 564. We'll continue. You key in your name, your gender, your birth date, uh, checkbox that everything's okay, upgrade. Um, go through the entire process. You can skip this. You can continue anyway uh, because the intent is you just want to be connected onto the event. Continue from here and uh, don't worry about being lonely because you'll be on the event continue also and I would at this point in time snap either a picture or upload an image of yourself so anyone in the event can identify you and then finish it so you're done it's loading the actual hangout at this point you're ready to actually join uh, your hangout event you click on join and you're all set to go Okay, so there's the event and a few simple steps, really. And when you when you um, when you do summarize what you have to do, it's number one is responding to the event that you are going to go, and then create a new account as step number two. Step number three is verify that your account is legitimate either through email or a telephone response. And then once you've done that, go back to the event on G+. You should be logged in. If you're not logged in, then just log in. And um, once you log in, click on the, the, uh, the Hangout uh, Live link, and that will load the event for you. And then click on Join, and you'll join the, uh, the event uh, that you intended to uh, join. Thank you. Have a great day.